Long before UFOs became a topic of a congressional hearing, a legendary journalist was breaking some of the world's biggest stories, like a secret government program and the existence of Area 51. His name, George Knapp. And News Nation has unprecedented access to his archives spanning decades. It's all part of a special report airing this Sunday night at 9 Eastern with senior national correspondent Brian Enton. But first, a little more about the reporter whose stories are still influencing the conversations on UFOs to this day. All these things that have come out over the last couple of years started right here. From the anchor desk in the bombshell interview that revealed Area 51 to the front row of a historic congressional hearing, when it comes to the mysteries surrounding UFOs, no one has a more impressive resume than investigative reporter George Knapp. I have secret stashes of files and things all over the, the station. Which is what makes spending time with him so rare. We're in Vegas, we're on the strip, we're on our way to meet George. Uh, he's finally agreed to meet with us. It took a long time because he's very busy. He says he gets multiple interview requests per day. Uh, but he's finally going to sit down with us at the TV station where he's worked for decades. At a time when mobs ruled Sin City and local news was king, George made inroads literally everywhere. At a night when I finished the cab driving shift, I'd go over to this nightclub, which was called the Oz, and all the mob guys were there. All the mob guys from the movie Casino would be there on a regular basis. But what he's most known for is this moment, which unfolded on live television. Well, there's several, uh, actually nine uh, flying saucers, flying discs, uh, that are out there of extraterrestrial origin, and uh, they're basically being dismantled. A shocking interview that revealed the existence of Area 51. He tells me this story. The phones go crazy. I get pulled off the set um, and, and pulled into the news director's office. The general manager comes back. What the hell was that? Is this for real? What did you just do? I said, look, I don't know if it's real. I have no idea. We just wanted to do an interview, but I'm going to find out and ignited conversations around what the government could be hiding. I have found out that the government has retrieved between 10 and 15 fl actual flying saucers, three of which have been in perfect condition, one of which they tried to fly. From his friendship with well-known pilot John Lear and the late Senator Harry Reid. There are answers out there, but we're not gonna get answers just by hoping they come. For decades, George broke big stories and interviewed key witnesses. There's a whole fleet of them, look on the ASA. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. <laughs> They've been seen by many people as far as on the radar. Including Pentagon whistleblower David Grush, who made waves on the world stage during an exclusive interview with News Nation. You are saying to the human race, for the first time, an official intelligence representative at a high level from the US government is saying publicly, we are not alone. We're definitely not alone. From chasing leads around Area 51 to sitting front row at the most talked about congressional hearing in years, George is not done yet. I've always approached it as a news story. I don't know what to believe even now. I think it is a hugely significant moment, and I never thought I would see it in my lifetime. Well, join us Sunday for a special edition of News Nation. You will hear some of the secrets that George Knapp held on to for years and what he knows about more potential whistleblowers. The UFO reporter, The Files of George Knapp, this Sunday night, 9 Eastern, right here on News Nation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.